Hello, in this game I'm going to show you, well a game in a bit in my Wyoming. The reason I'm showing you this video is that today I've been trying to figure out why I'm good in the Arkansas beta, but kind of suck in the Wyoming, despite the fact that Wyoming is a better ship. And just to illustrate what I'm talking about, currently my statistics in the Arkansas beta, I win 64.65% of my games. But in the Wyoming, I only win 49% of my games. And that is despite me doing 8,000 more damage on average per game in my Wyoming, having a higher kill to death ratio in my Wyoming, having more kills per game in the Wyoming, shooting down more aircraft per game in the Wyoming. And basically, the only things I do better in the Arkansas than the Wyoming is the base capture and base defense, as well as survival rate. And I think I'm going to figure out why that is today. Basically, in my mind, because I know the Wyoming is a pretty powerful ship, I tend to play it pretty aggressively, and I probably actually play it a bit too aggressively. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of a game, just to show you what I mean. So in this game, this is right at well, the end of the game for me, basically I've pushed up aggressively to engage the enemies, as I tend to do, just because I want to get close as I can, do as much damage as I can, Basically, I hope my team comes with me, but in this situation, my team hasn't come with me because that's kind of stupid. And basically, the entire enemy team is firing away at me. Um, basically, I've just realised the situation when I'm trying to get out of here, but it's the ocean map. I'm not going to be able to, and I don't live very long. Now, that's probably the worst type of situation I've been in. But I actually do that a lot of the time. I go and gauge superior numbers of enemies because I'm pretty confident in my ship and just hope my team will support me. Okay, and we are back. So we've spotted kind of first enemy here. It's a Tenru. I'm not really taking a shot here because it's maneuvering aggressively. I decide... I was... Mm, wasn't really feeling comfortable about that shot, but I took it anyway. And see, I only got one hit. I was basically waiting for the Tenru to turn broadside on with me, or start moving in a predictable pattern. Um, but it didn't do either of those things, so I decided to just take the shot and see what I could do. And the answer was 830 damage. Anyway, here comes Akuma, which you might know. It's my favourite ship in the game. I consider it to be a very powerful ship, provided you keep manoeuvring in it. And if you don't, that could well happen to you if you're in Yukuma. So that's my first kill, my first devastating strike. What was it, two Citadel penetrations? The Kuma just doesn't have the hit points to be able to take damage like that from a battleship like this one. We spotted a couple of Isisuchis up here. And basically if you look at the minimap, you might realise that I'm starting to do what I tend to do fairly often in the ship, and then I'm pushing up even though my team's actually not following me, I haven't quite realised it yet. I've got a destroyer and a cruiser with me, but my allied battleships have turned away, and we are fighting two cruisers and two battleships in front of us that we know of. So... It's, well, we're outnumbered. At best, it's a fair fight. But I've spotted what's happening, and I actually turn away, which I normally wouldn't have done. Normally I would have continued forward to engage that Isuzuchi, knowing that I can pretty confidently beat the Isuzuchi, and I can probably beat two of them at once if I had to. But I decided to take the safer option here. Pull back, put a few shots into the Isuzuchi as I turn around. Unfortunately my gun turrets have to swing right the way around, um, so I don't get to fire a full broadside there. But they're getting on target, so I'll be able to fire off another broadside fairly soon. The forward guns have reloaded. My rear guns are on target. I take a little bit of damage from the Isisuchi there. And not really a great shot there, so I switch to the Tenryu we shot at earlier. I have to wait for a little bit for my guns to get on target, unfortunately. But it gives me plenty of time to observe what the Tenryu is doing and have a guess at where it's going to be. And there's a broadside. And there's my second kill, and my second devastating strike. 
and now the situation's actually changed again. One of those battleships that wasn't coming with me has now turned around and is coming with me. And with that Tenryu gone, and the enemy Kohlbergs also decide to basically run away, means that now it's going to be myself and that Miyogi, plus this Allied Destroyer, against the two Isisuchi. So just by doing a circle here, and delaying for 30 seconds, maybe a minute, the numbers game has actually completely changed. Um, originally, we were outnumbered, but I was in a better strip than the Isisuchi, so it was fairly even. Now these guys, they don't really stand a chance. Myself and the Miyogi can beat them fairly easily, especially since they're on quite low health. And with a destroyer there to assist us with torpedo strikes, these guys really don't stand a chance. So I've done a bit of damage to the Isuzuchi, not with that last shot, um, got a bounce there. But guns are reloading and I'll swing the ship around to fire my broadside again. And it's, it's a pretty good shot there. Just want to fire a full broadside, so I'm waiting for my forward guns to reload. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have. But I love with a full broadside loader to fire off at the second Ishizuchi, Ishizuchi here. I think I'm saying that wrong in the whole game. But whatever. Broadside out. And that's a dead Ishizuchi. Which? Three kills. And well, if I'd have pushed up aggressively, as I normally would have, taken on those two Isuzuchi by myself, well, by myself, probably the um, destroyer would have supported me, and maybe the Miyogi would have come along at the end to help me out. I might have killed both of them, and I might have lived, but I would have taken a lot of damage. And right now, I've got a lot of hit points, and... We've managed to win here, which is the main thing. Uh, it's well, slightly ahead in terms of ships, but it's fairly even. And here is the situation that kind of causes me to push fairly aggressively. It's basically... The Wyoming's a slow ship, as are most low-tier American battleships. Well, most all low-tier American battleships. Which means that I often find myself in situations like this where... I basically just get left behind from the action. We win where we were fighting, and it just takes a long time to sail to wherever the enemy is to get back in the fight. And just, I really don't like being in this situation. You're just not contributing. Basically, at this point, we could lose the game, and there's very little I can do to actually prevent that from happening. Because of that, I think I tend to push very aggressively in this ship. Partly because of that reason, partly because I think it's a very powerful ship. And I'm confident in my abilities in it. I'd much rather just push aggressively the whole game and try and stay in the fight than delay for a bit and get left behind. But anyway, took some long range shots there at an enemy cruiser and now we're kind of working our way into the center of the map where we'll be able to kind of support our team. We've got some enemies pushing into our cap circle, and a few other enemies defending their cap circle. Um, I was hoping to get some shots off at this Miyogi here. Well, I could have taken shots, but I wasn't very confident that I would hit it at that range, especially since I could have only fired my forward two turrets, um, just because the islands were in the way of me firing my broadside. So I decided not to take shots, and instead leave all my guns loaded in case a better target um, it pops up. It kind of doesn't know. There was an enemy cruiser over to my right I could have shot at, but didn't really have a good shot again, so probably should have taken that shot at the Miyogi. It would have been um, not very likely to do a lot of damage, but as it was, I did no damage at all. So I'm swinging my ship around now, because I should be getting some shots at the Miyogi fairly soon. Get my guns to bear and have a... Mm, looks about right there. Maybe a bit higher. And... A bit too far ahead and a bit too low, but we still did a little bit of damage to it. And all there at secondary guns opening up. There's an allied Dursky getting in very close to it there. Which... 
probably means Miyogi's in a bit of trouble. It's got a powerful secondary battery, so it could kill the Dursky. And actually, I think it might have just done so. But the Dursky's got its torpedoes off. And I fire off my guns just to try and do my little bit. And between my shells and the torpedoes. And, well, I think I took one other allied shell to finish it off. But... Yeah, that's a dead Miyogi now. It's just an enemy Wyoming and the Isokaze in front of me here left. And I'm just outside the Isokaze's maximum torpedo range, which means... It could potentially fire at me, but I'm loading armor piercing, so I instead concentrate on the Wyoming. And it's firing back at me as well. Do I fire off a broadside at it? And... A fair bit of damage there. And I decided to use my damage repair ability because... Well, I've got plenty of it left. And I should use it at some point. Turning in towards the Wyoming just to try and avoid its fire and close the distance. Torpedoes when we see one of those torpedoes from miles away. I assume the um, allied Isokaze you see in front of me basically spotted that torpedo for me. Gave me all the time in the world to dodge it. So, well, bad luck enemy Isokaze, but at least you tried. And now unfortunately the enemy Wyoming is behind the island. So for the next little bit I'm just going to be able to have to watch the fight. There's an allied Miyogi, the one from earlier over there, who's in a position to engage the Wyoming. And they do pretty alright. Well, they, the Miyogi does pretty alright. Shots out. Does about 4,000 damage. I think the Wyoming's guns are pointing in the wrong direction because it was firing at me earlier, which means that... I don't think the Wyoming gets a chance to fire back at the Miyogi for a little while at least. I know there goes some shots out. Doesn't seem to do a lot of damage to the Miyogi. And my LOD Zakazes fired some torpedoes there, but they all miss. And now I'm finally in a position where I can fire my broadside. And that is how you do a lot of damage in a battleship. And it's sunk, and the enemy Izokaze sinks very quickly. And so as you see, 3,000 experience, 169,000 credits, 2 double strikes, 5 citadel penetrations, and 3 enemy ships. I came very close to sinking 2 more. Um, top on my team, and I did about 80,000 damage. So, it was a pretty good game. And a lot of that game... Well, the good result I got from that game came because I hesitated for a bit and I didn't push aggressively and I didn't try to close the distance and keep my guns to bear. I actually played conservatively and it worked out very well for me. And I think that's something I've got to work on in the ship, just sticking with my team a bit better or really waiting for my team to catch up with me. Just being a bit safer and a bit more conservative, realised, yeah. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.